Good morning, magandang umaga po. You have been wondering uh, which countries are included in the so-called green countries for purposes of this new announcement that was made regarding who can use the green lane. That will take a look at it. Stay with me. As of yesterday, an another announcement was made as to which countries belong to the so-called Green Lane who could take advantage of the Green Lane when you check into the Philippines and you will only be quarantined for 7 days instead of the required 10 days. Well, I know a lot of you are complaining, 7 days is 7 days and they said no, no, that is not an improvement and I agree with you. But it's better than nothing. And like what I said before, okay, this is to reduce their cost because now they will be the one to pay for it. Okay, now as time goes on, money is going to be depleted and I'm hoping that additional improvements will be made. This is just the initial uh, phase of this so-called no quarantine. The ultimate end is zero days quarantine. All right, so Anyway, let's take a look and let's listen to what Harry Roque, is it Harry? Yeah, Roque has to say. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Balitang IATF po. Naglabas ngayong araw at 30 ng Hunyo 2021 ang inyong IATF ng listahan na tinatawag na Green Countries at Jurisdictions. Kasama rito ang mga bansang Albania, American Samoa, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, Australia, Benin, Belize, um, the British Virgin Islands, Brunei, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Cayman Islands, Chad, China, Côte d'Ivoire, es Eswatini, Falkland Islands, French Polynesia, Gambia, Ghana, Greenland, Grenada, Hong Kong, Iceland, Isle of Man, Israel, Laos, Liberia, Malawi, Malta, Marshall Islands, Mauritius, Micronesia, Montserrat, Morocco, Mozambique, New um, Caledonia, um, New Zealand, Niger, Nigeria, Northern Mariana Islands, Palau, Rwanda, Saba, St. Uh, Barthelemy, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Pierre and Michelon, um, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Singapore, St. Eustatius, South Korea, Taiwan, Togo, Turks and Caicos Islands, UK, uh, Vietnam, at Zimbabwe. Napag-desisyon ng din ng inyong IATF ng opsyon ng ipresenta ang Philippine Overseas Labor Office o law validations bilang proof of vaccination status ay exclusive lamang sa mga overseas Filipino workers. Magsisimulang tumanggap ang ating mga polo ng applications for validation simula July 5, 2021. Samantala, ang mga OFWs na makakapagpresenta ng international certificates of vaccination ay maaari nang makapag-avail ng green lanes simula bukas, July 1, 2021, provided na makakasunod sila sa mga requirements. Wow! United States and Canada not included in the so-called green country. <clears throat> But did I hear China? China is included and they'll be free to go through the green lane? But not United States or Canada. Well, Australia is in there, which is good. This is terrible. This is terrible, guys. But, so the bottom line is, all this announcement, ignore it because it doesn't apply to you Americans. It does not apply to you or American residents. Terrible. And this Polo validation, validation of your certificate by Polo, stupid red tape, documents, papers, stuff like that. Why don't you just present a certification coming from the United States? Why does it have to be validated? Because here is the problem, guys. You send your paperwork, it takes them six months. Now, I'm not saying this is six months, but you know, this so-called exemption letter from the DFA takes them six months. So, it's as good as saying, no, you're not allowed to go. So when they talk about validation, let's see how quickly Polo will respond. This is just maybe an appearance of an improvement 
Whereas for practical purposes, maybe nobody can use the green line because Polo is not able to respond. That is my prediction. Of course, right now, maybe only a few people are coming in. Maybe they'll be able to respond. But once they remove the cap and they open this up to more countries, how will Polo respond? Filipinos are very, very slow and all document oriented. I have to see this document. I have to see this document. Crazy. Crazy. I'm not there yet and I'm getting disgusted. But be that as it may, this was the announcement made as of yesterday. Philippines is always ahead of me. Why? Because I'm always 12 hours behind. So guys, you heard what I heard. So be it. Please do share this with some of your friends or relatives who may be interested. And I'll appreciate it if you click like. And do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And God bless.